What's up, Scrappy Peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill, and we're diving into a double page layout today, attempting something that I don't often do. I usually treat each Project Life page just separately. I don't know why, it's just, I think it might be because of desk space, and that's just what's come easy to me in my process. When you do Project Life or Pocket Pages, do you do two pages at the same time or treat each page separately? Let me know what your process style is. So these are photos from uh, just after, literally the day that we brought Violet home from hospital. And I'm going through the one on the left is a normal Design A uh, pocket, which is the one that I use most in my albums. And then the other side is a Design G I think it is and it's a really handy one when you have uh, vertical photos that you want to include which there aren't particularly on this layout but I think on the other side of that page protector uh, there is which is why I picked it. So for this one I am going there's a lot of you know she was what four days old at this point five maybe and there's a whole lot of photos of her just snoozing and of course you you're a bit snap happy uh, when you bring bub home and taking lots of photos of uh, the same thing so it's going to be fun to try and uh, embellish those to make them look a little bit different slightly different angles of her face uh, so for this one i just started off with some puffy uh, word thickers or word alphas i should say and they were from I have a feeling they were a pink paisley older one from last year sometime and then just finishing off I didn't want to do too much here um, I wanted the focus to kind of be on her little face and her little hand um, but I'm just doing a tiny bit of embellishing using some clear stickers because clear stickers are something we've chatted about before and they can be a bit tricky sometimes so when I've got a, a background on a photo that's a solid pale color uh, I often like to use clear stickers because they they work best over a solid color in the background so they don't get mixed up so for all of these cards uh, it's a mixture of project life cards and also uh, oh that roll of tape was completely stuffed it I don't know what had happened to it it may have melted in the the heat, but it was it was a goner. So that went straight in the bin. I couldn't. It had no adhesive left on it, so I grabbed a new roll of adhesive. Um, but yes, yeah, so for most of these cards, they're either uh, pre-made Project Life cards or scraps of six by eight paper pads um, that I had. So these are my new favourite thickers and. You will probably see them pop up in numerous projects uh, because I can't stop using them on everything. They're just a nice, they're a really nice size and I appreciate the the foamness of them. I definitely prefer a foam uh, thicker uh, compared to a chipboard one. I just find that they stick a bit better and they're just, I don't know, they're my jam and I prefer them. And so these ones are fun because they've got a, it's like a cardstock front and then the back of it is foam. So they've still got a little bit of squishiness in there. I'm trying to use up a couple of puffy uh, sticker sheets. So you might see some various puffy things appear here. And I snapped this photo uh, because it really just summed up our first day home. We had uh, Violet's bassinet out in our lounge room just for her day nap so that she could get used to the difference between a day nap and a, a sleep sleep at night time in the full darkness. And so she was asleep in the bassinet and to keep Archie quiet because, like I've said before, he's quite a, a loud, energetic little soul, which we love. Uh, keeping him quiet while Violet was sleeping was... A fun challenge a new challenge and so we popped on Frozen or Moana it was one or the other and because they were his well they still are actually his two favorite uh, movies along with what else is he like he loves Tangled and Cars they're probably his top four that he watches on uh, rotation along with Paw Patrol episodes 
And so we'd popped on a movie. Um, we watch movies maybe once or twice a week. And I will admit in this first week home from hospital, we may have watched four or five movies in that week because it was one of the only ways to keep Arch nice and quiet. And hey, when you're in that first week survival mode, you just got to do what you got to do to get through the week. Uh, so I took a photo of that. And then Arch was very curious. He hadn't actually seen a proper baby before like a real newborn baby uh, because I think well he had but he'd only been a few months old at the time so he wouldn't have been able to remember it uh, so it was a real experience for him and it was amazing to see his awe at uh, how tiny she was and her little toes and fingers and um, yeah I, I really enjoyed capturing those little moments this was the first photo that I took when we got home and Aaron was just standing there with sleeping Violet in his arms and Arch was just reading on his little couch and we were like, okay, um, what now? <laughs> like, There's no parent manual that tells you how to learn to adjust to doing two kids, not just one. And so I thought this photo just summed up Aaron's face. <laughs> so well these little like uh so what do we what do we do now where where does the baby go because of course it's it's different second time round because when we had arch i could put archie on a play mat in the middle of our lounge room safely and sit next to him and work uh and it was all hunky dory it was all fine but of course when you have he was two at the time when you have a a, a a very very fast speedy two-year-old that likes to run and stunt dive onto the floor and couches and everything else in the house it's not as easy to uh to, to know where to put the baby <laughs> so we had to do things a little bit differently this time and learn how to uh, adjust with with uh with that so that was fun that was always a going to be a good challenge now this one, I had this puffy sticker, it was an Ellie Studio one, and I really struggle with banners. I I don't know what it is. I think it's because I feel like, like right now, this banner for me is floating. It's not a proper banner because in my, he my head goes logistically in real life, the banner would not be bannering right now. It needs to be connected to the edges in order to be a banner. And so I'm trying to quieten down my head when I'm using things like this and just embrace that it's a few hearts with a line through it. It's not a banner. It's just a few hearts with a, with a line drawn through it. Uh, and so that's how I got around using that one. This is a little picture of Arch just chillaxing next to Violet asleep in the bassinet. And so I definitely wanted to include that, watching another movie. Uh, I think this was the next day. And um, I wanted to just talk about how um, how happy it just makes me to, to see him being okay with a new sibling coming into the house because it is quite a big change, especially uh, as Arch is, you know, he's the only grandchild on all sides of our family. He's the only one of that generation so he hasn't had to compete for attention um, in that kind of way before but he adjusted quite well and it's lovely to see the two of them and the I think we're in trouble though peeps the the mischievous laughter that the two of them come up with oh yep I think we are definitely up to some trouble with uh, their shenanigans that I think they're going to get up to in their future years so this is a very very blurry photo so I printed it in uh, black and white but I wanted to keep it because uh, in this first week Vi didn't I didn't have a lot of moments with her eyes open in the first couple of days and um, this is Archie's little smile that he was doing at the time and so I really wanted to include it even though it's not the best photo uh, so I made it smaller and instead of printing it as a four by six and then also made it black and white with a very high, uh, I upped the contrast as well. 
and I will have, I have half filmed the printing photos video and that will be up in March, which is exciting. I've been pre-scheduling um, a whole ton of videos and I've got all of my videos planned, not edited yet, but um, all planned for January, February and March so that I can begin filming a few online classes because I'm hoping to release three this year, uh, which will be lots of fun. So a couple of little gold glittery stars there and that page is done. Uh, so this next one, this card was one that I'd been holding on to for a couple of months because I really loved it and it was a bit of a different colour palette than perhaps I'd usually reach for. Uh, and so I wanted to, every time I've reached for it, I've either thought it didn't work with the colours that I already had on the page or I liked it too much and I wanted to save it. But enough is enough. And I need to use the things that I love. Um, so that's that's one of my goals for this year. Uh, I have recently filmed a video for my Patreon talking about my scrappy goals for 2021 and talking about my previous ones for 2020. And one of them is to continue to use things that I love in my projects instead of hoarding them. And I, I challenge you guys to do the same thing. So for your next page, see if you can pick a either a background paper, if you're doing a scrapbook layout or if you're doing Project Life, pick a card that you've been holding on to for a bit and that you really, really love and use it in your next page. Hey, here's a question. Would you like a challenge per video? So would you like me to just something simple like that? Uh, to come up with a specific challenge to maybe motivate you in your next project when you get to sit down and have a bit of creative time. Let me know if you would like that and if there's any particular challenges that you would enjoy. Uh, I did a whole series on Patreon in 2019 where every month I picked a specific challenge. Uh, I called the series Challenge Yourself and I worked through things that personally I found a bit of a challenge uh, and it was great to see people playing along and uh, seeing what, how they interpreted it and what they came up with. Um, but if you'd like me to just do a little, you know, a little motivational challenge in each video, let me know. So here I used some more of those clear stickers just to, I thought the style really tied in with the flower that was at the top, oh, not flower, the leaf that was at the top of that printed card. And then here, uh, a couple of photos of the three of us and I just like that bottom one it kind of looks like Violet's whispering to me going is is this how it's going to go is this does he ever be quieter than what he is now <laughs> looks like she's whispering behind her hand to me about Archie uh, not much embellishing there just a few little bits and bobs and now this one I just love the look in Archie's eyes and there's this big blank space to the top left corner uh, which is perfect spot for me to add some journaling and so I added a label and then once again I'm trying to use through some of these puffies um, that I've got sitting on there because I seem to I buy a new pack of stickers and I get halfway through them and then I forget about them because I find a different pack to open so I'm trying to use up some stuff as well and here's the final double spread so of course lots of pinks because a lot of the wraps and the clothes that Violet had were pink because I love light pink uh, and I was excited to to use them so just picking out some of the pinks and purples from the page and just little pops of journaling there is a lot of journaling on the layouts that surround uh, these pages so I didn't have to do big momentous journaling about my emotions and how I was feeling because that's already included um, but just a really fun spread I hope this has given you some ideas for maybe baby album hoping to film a class on baby albums this year uh, and I will see you all in the next video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it bye